think this is my fourth one. This has to be more than four. Five, six, maybe. May, maybe fifth. Yeah. Because there was there was a couple where you've been on here by yourself. There was the one where we went over the Thailand uh, episode. Mm-hmm. And then I think this is... Oh, this might be four. No, no. No, there's got to be at least five. I no, think. you were on the very first one. Or the second yeah. one. Yeah. Way back before even video was, yeah. was in place. And now you're here when we have a solid overhaul of the microphone setup. I'm sure XM7 Bays boys yeah, official. You're the fir- you're the first guest with these puppies on. Hell so yeah. hopefully his sexy voice is as crispy as I hear it in my head, in my headset. Hey, yo. Bro, actually, before we get started into like the stuff that we have to talk about today, did you see that um that uh 10 minute gameplay reveal for Spider Man Two? Uh, I have not. I saw a quick clip of Craven though, in that. Th- that shit's gonna be crazy. Yeah, yeah. They. God, I didn't like. It seemed so like. Stop. It was what. I already don't like where this is going. What didn't you like? About no, no, because I just watched literally like a thirty second clip, and it was just like Craven. He pops up like behind this other dude, and he's just like, I, I forgot how he said it, but he's like, we have our next target, and then you're just like, and then it just shows like New York City, and I was just like, okay, I know that the story like Craven is in the jungle, and then he goes to New York mm-hmm, City, but mm-hmm. I was just like, that was like a cheap way of like transitioning, just like, getting the, him, yeah, into just New being York. like, okay, we're gonna take a jungle dude and just throw him in New York. What, like the concrete jungle, bro. Is that so, like- you, do you know what the apex predator is? What who, do you mean? Or who? Who do you know who he's hunting? Because mm. it's revealed in the in the. No, I don't watch it. No. Okay, so you would think it's Spider Man, obviously, right? <clears throat> it's the lizard, which makes more sense. Oh, okay. And okay. now, like, it, it, I'm not spoiling anything in the gameplay. You can, it alludes to the fact that oh, okay. Peter's that trying to save See, Harry. That's why you got to watch the whole thing. You Dude, can't it's take so a- fire! It's so fire! If you haven't seen it, I don't know when this episode's coming out, but it's it was just re- released this like week or some shit, and it's I've watched it like two three times already. Mm. You do you remember at the end of the first Spider Man? Uh, that post credit scene where like Harry's in the in like the tank, Osborne. Yep. And remember how he has like the symbiote. Yep. And you remember how in the in the tra- I don't know if you saw the trailers for this for uh, Spider Man Two, but like Venom came into it at one point. Do you remember that or no? Spider Man Two, meaning the game. The game. Yeah. No, no, no. I haven't. No. So they they sh- they revealed that Venom's gonna be in it, and then in this gameplay footage. Peter's just fully wearing the symbiote suit, like right mm. off the off the fucking bat. Mm. Oh, and I gotta watch that. I didn't the see voice it. actor. Wait, when is the game releasing? Fall of twenty twenty three. Oh, so that's really soon. Yeah, really soon. Oh my god, really soon. I, there's no hard release date yet, but they said fall of twenty twenty. Oh, that's awesome. So Q3, I mean, even, early Q4. as long as it's this year, that'd be freaking. No, dude, it's sick. gonna be crazy, bro. I'm so excited. They already started with like the ten. I love like like I almost like subplots better than like the actual overall plot of the game and like relationships between characters. They they were. They set this up so perfectly. You know, what does the symbiote do to Spider-Man? What? Like, or Peter. It makes him more, like, aggressive. Yeah, yeah. Like, he adopts the symbiote's, like, characteristics. Exactly. Right? And then in this, in the trailer, or in the gameplay footage, you see Miles getting concerned because in the gameplay footage, like, Peter starts fucking people up. Oh, really? And being very aggressive. And also, like, it's like a new twist. Yeah, and, like, talking mm-hmm. very... Uh, he's being very short with Miles. So, Miles is like, oh... And then like this other, you remember that? Um, did you play Spider Man Two? Miles, Miles, or Miles Morales? Spider-Man, yeah, yeah, Miles of course. Yeah. You remember Genki or some shit? Yeah, Genki. The yeah. Fat, his Ned. Yeah. So that guy's back in it. And then there's like a scene where he's listening in through the comms, and he hears what Peter says to Miles. And then as Peter goes like webs away, the Genki goes to Miles like, "Is he always like that?" And he's like, "No, like he's never like that." Mm. And then it's already, I'm like, "Ooh, I'm getting chills about it right now." Mm. Think about that shit, bro. I'm gonna nerd the fuck out when that game comes. So I'm super excited about that. Um, thank you for coming on first episode, as I said, with these microphones, yes, we, sir. we talked about it in episode 49, how I wanted to actually like break down all these stories that you've had from your multiple trips to Kosovo slash Albania slash just that part. Cause didn't you, didn't you also go to, no, 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 that was, where else have you gone in that area of the world? Or is it just Albania and Kosovo? I mean, I've been like in and out of the airports, but I don't, I have spent minimal time in Europe. So you've never had like a overnight layover where you had to leave the airport? No. No. Wasn't there one time I thought before we get into like the real meat and potatoes of the story, didn't you get stuck at in like Turkey or some shit? Oh, yeah, the transfer? yeah, yeah. How long was that? So we flew Turkish Airlines. Our flight was delayed leaving New York, uh, landed there late for whatever reason. That plane was delayed. Oh, no, no, no. Um, we had l- gotten there too late and I think we missed the flight or whatever the hell. The plane needed maintenance, so they kept us waiting. And it was a plane of like, I want to say like I, over 100 
people i want to say it was th- over 30 rows and you know i was like six whatever it was mm-hmm. a bunch of people already waiting there from from new york though because mm-hmm. we were all like it was all albanian people on that flight on the one from new york to turkey because they're going to albania yeah right? going going to Kosovo. Is yeah. there, there's no direct flight no okay. there used to be actually from jfk to pristine but not anymore um so the we three. all huh the three yeah zero three. Pristine, well yeah, no the, zero pristine three. would be zero one. Oh, that's yeah, the most pop yeah. fuck that's uh, yeah, that's I a, that, that, yeah, that was yeah. the thing you were explaining last yeah. time um so we all get off the we all get off the plane and we're waiting in the airport and dude i almost hesitate to say this because like i might fly turkish airlines again <laughs> you know how the government is over there like if you talk crap Shit. about them like yeah. i doubt they'll find me but like you know like ennis Cantor, the basketball player like yeah. he was talking stuff and like if you ever went back like they would arrest him yeah yeah, yeah. on site yeah, yeah 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 but they just did not treat us ideally i'll say um we waited in the airport i want to say we landed around like midday so around like 2 p.m ish we didn't leave the airport standing on our feet until the next morning standing up there was like a few chairs that they let us stay on they took our passports away so we couldn't even leave the airport they took everybody's passports they said we're going to scan them we're going to give you guys a hotel and then we're going to pay for your meals they took our passports away. They come back like three or four hours later with the passports. Yeah, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to uh, give accommodations to, to process you guys for any hotel or accommodations or whatever. And then um, what happened? So then they're like, yeah, we're not going to be able to do this. And keep in mind, at this point, like it took them a few hours to even ask for the passports. Oh, this thing just ran out of battery. The headphones? It, they're running low. Yeah, it just went. Doo, 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 doo. Uh, that's fine if it dies. I think the yeah. connection is. So, um. It was a few hours, and then they asked for our passports. They took our passports. It went another three or four hours past. We're still on our feet, keep in mind. There's a bunch of women with kids standing, crying, screaming. They're all freaking hungry. There's no restaurants because we're waiting in like a, a waiting area. There's no, there's nothing there. There's a bathroom. That's all we got. Mm-hmm. Moms are with kids. They're trying to like find food for them. Like there's nothing there. There's not even vending machines. Like it was like we were almost in like a, it was just like a big open area with like nothing there. Mm-hmm. And, uh, like all, like, uh, you know, you know, you probably know Albanians better than most at this point, but like Albanians are not quiet people. So as soon as this shit started popping off, everybody waiting there was just like, you motherfuckers, where is my airplane? You know, like going, everybody was going off. Everybody was screaming. All the oh, women were dude. like trying to like coddle their kids, like mm-hmm. calm down, calm down. Cause you know, you get tired. You're, you're two years old. You Cranky. have no idea what's yeah, going on. You're just like, mom, I want to go. They didn't get us, um, any hotel they didn't pay for anybody's hotel nothing like that we had to eventually leave pay for the hotel it was like three hundred dollars just to sleep for like only three four hours because of uh because they let us know so late that they weren't giving us the hotel by the time we wake up they didn't they dude the only thing they did was give us a free meal and it was like a chicken leg with like a scoop of rice that was it for the entire time that we were there we obviously ate more but we had to pay for it so how long were you at the airport for um 12 to 15 hours jesus fucking Christ, it was like bro. early morning the next day that we left and we got there around midday ain't that a bitch dude that's the worst shit ever <sighs> traveling like traveling like that and the stuff like that happened that's the worst stuff of yeah. all time i have a similar story where actually this is this is pretty uh relevant because we're going to orlando in i think like two weeks yeah this, i'm looking yeah. off camera because shout out sandra world's best producer and number one fan of the podcast she's uh she's out of frame we're all going Young we're taking a trip what young sandy that's fire what what uh, two weeks right um th- three weeks from now two th- three weeks from now yeah three weeks from now so i was going at this time to uh orlando to um i don't know if i'm allowed to talk whatever i won't say why i was going there i'll tell you like off camera later mm. but we were going oh that's so cool what the off that i get thing? to know yeah oh, the none camera, of you yeah. guys get to know <laughs> yeah so <laughs> Uh, we were going, and what had happened was the the flight was scheduled to leave depart at like seven forty five. So okay. I got there at like six. Which six airport o'clock. did you fly out of? This is why I'm never flying out of JFK again. Remember mm. when we were oh, booking a flight? I was yeah, like, yeah, we're yeah. not going JFK. Like we have to go Laguardia. I feel like I've had the most consistent dog trips JFK, JFK. Is shit. I fucking hate JFK. Like it's the worst airport in New York. Bro. Newark is better. No, it's not. Newark was flooded when I landed back in Newark, bro. There Dude, was like six inches of rain. The entire airport. Dude, we went to... I I got dropped off at 6, okay? 7.45. I'm at the fucking gate. They're calling us. We're like, we're all waiting there. Then, like, they were telling us, departing a couple, but whatever, delayed. 
Mm. Like they let us know it was delayed. I think at seven thirty, mind you, it's leaving at seven forty-five. I'm like, all right, how much? Hour and a half. I'm like, all right, that's not that bad. Whatever. I'm sitting there, waiting at the gate. Hour and a half goes by, delayed again. I'm like, okay, how much this time? Thirty minutes. This same pattern kept up. I was at the airport. I left the airport at five thirty in the morning. Five thirty in the morning. I got there at six. So almost twelve hours oh in my fucking JFK. God. So similar, like I wasn't on my feet the whole time. There were, you know how New Yorkers are too. Mm. They were fucking rowdy. They were mm. getting pissed. They were saying shit. And the reason that they canceled the flight was because the flight crew that was waiting, waiting to get on the plane. Something was wrong with the plane, obviously. So it's good that we didn't go on there. But the flight crew, when they finally got us a new plane and it was in the gate, like we were ready to go. The flight crew had hit their like quota cap in hours that they're legally allowed to work before they have to, the crew switches where they have to have a rest uh, and there was no there was no substitute crew to oh take my us goodness. so they were like the flight's canceled after 12 hours they're like the, it kept saying delayed yeah, delayed they, delayed they delayed. knew that it wasn't going to be ready until yeah. that and then they waited the whole maybe 12 they were hours. trying to find substitute like pilots and crew I they were they were trying to find a substitute plane the entire time and I guess the fucking idiot in air traffic control just didn't think like oh, oh my you know the, the 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 quota for their hours and they let us know literally after twelve hours and the fucking I think I have video of this all the baggage that was put into baggage check which I I put it there was just thrown out onto the floor where the baggage claim is they told us you have to go back down I'm like a zombie along with like. 150 other sleepy people we're like making our way down to baggage claim and there's a sea of luggages from other flights too mind you not just mine oh my goodness and it's like i'm sifting through other people's basically shit and like all their belongings trying to find my fucking luggage i got home to my grandma's at like who lives in queens at like 6 37 mm. and i slept for three hours and then i flew back out the next day there was a really nice lady who helped me get like a free God flight damn. and all that shit so it was it was dope but dude, garbage. Actually, yeah. that's why I had the JetBlue points, which oh, I really? used for the flight. Oh, yeah, wow, so I funny. got back. I got them back. I got them back. It's all right. So, <laughs> Kusov, you told me you had some juice, bro. There's definitely some. You gotta, you gotta just. We got, we got a bunch of stuff here, but I'm, I'm most curious in the, in the crime, any crime related shit or any life scare. So mm -hmm. we'll start off easy. I don't know if you have a story with this with best meals that you had there. If there's a meal best that stands meals? out. If there's a meal, it's not necessarily food, but just a meal that's memorable. Okay, there's a lot of good Albanian food. Um, you you guys you guys have tried a good amount. By it's you guys, fire. I mean like Brandon and like the rest of our friend group. It's um, fire. It is fire. Yeah. Um, there's pita. There's there's flea, which I'm not the biggest fan of. I've Ch never heard that. Chivapa flea is like um, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like a it's like a bready, like a really soft bready like pan I, I i i don't even know how to explain it i'm not a big fan of it honestly basically you just build like a, a thick layer of bread layer by layer and cooking it usually it's typically done outside over a big like wooden fire so it's just bread it's not like a bread it's like you can eat it as a meal but it is essentially just like cooked flour and the cooked like bread whatever so is there meat in it though? No, 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 no. It's just it's just strictly like oh. the same stuff that like is bread is made out of. I don't know what exactly it is, but I'm not the biggest fan. And of you it. only eat that for the meal? Well, some people do. They okay. dip it in yogurt, like or like they usually have it with like chavapa, which mm -hmm. is like like beef links. Um, those just, shits are fire. I've yeah, had they're, those. they're like peppered seasoning, super super so good. good, so good. Um, sajuk so, so also really good, similar to chavapa, like a different form and like usually a little bit more spicy um so what's the bit you what was the best meal that you had with that stuff there um it's always really good there's also like an albanian like like gyro like a gyro mm -hmm. like that they there's one spot it's called a diner they a diner they sell it like right in town right by where my house is mm -hmm. i crush like three of those every two or at least two sometimes even three of those every single time how I how big go. are those bad boys they're not that big but they're so good they have it on like the um what is that thing called where they like the metal pole uh, and then they fillet it off like a not like a kebab, but like a what is that called? Oh fuck! This is gonna kill me. Um, you know what I'm talking about? It's like, is it is it in a 
past like tacos al pastor is the fucking shit that they shave well, off. That, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. It's like a big like it's the meat and it's on and a stick and, and, they, it rotates. and then they cut it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah and then yeah, they yeah. cut it with like the very thin fillet. The halal carts have those. Yeah, yeah, exactly. God, what the fuck? And they is put that into called? a gyro, bro. It is phenomenal with the white sauce that they put, and then they put this like pepper spread on it, and then like lettuce, tomatoes. Oh, dude, I crush those. Red onion, raw yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. I could, dude. Those. I that's like one of I love those things. I will say. Eating the food in town is awesome. By town, I mean Bay, which is like where, where our house is. Um, it's awesome. It's amazing. If you take food or even better, if you can harvest the food 40 minutes north up in the mountains where my family's legitimately from in Rogov. Um, what do you mean harvest? Like literally out of the ground? Yeah. Like my grandpa like plants like onions, tomatoes, like all. Dude, you eat a tomato here. You buy them from the grocery store. Most people who grow their own stuff here, like you guys know this. But, like, it tastes watery. Like, yeah. you bite into a tomato, it doesn't taste like anything. It just tastes like water in a solid it's form. It's just juice, yeah. Yeah. When you bite into a tomato that's grown locally, like, in your backyard or something, mm-hmm. and over there, I don't know what it is, it has so much flavor. It's, like, herby and, like, heavy, but, like, super, super good. Like, you, all you got to do is, just like, take, slice up a tomato, a little bit of cheese and some meat, or even on bread... I could eat that thing for days. Damn. If you take that up in the mountains, like where, where a lot of people grow that stuff, there's something about like the air purity being in that high of an altitude that like, I don't know what the hell it is, man. It feels like your whole like sinus just like opens up and you just feel like you can smell way more sensitively and like your taste is on like a high. Well, it's probably because there's just, it's untouched and well, not yeah, untouched. Well, the air is pure. Just... I think that's what it is. Like, cause you know, like in the, in the city, there's like a lot of, there's a lot of cars and stuff yeah, passing yeah. Over there, the air is so pure, dude. It's so, just nature as it was and intended And, like, you could be, just yeah. taste. Like, when you bite into chicken up there, the same chicken, when you bite into it up there, you can, like, taste every... I don't know how to explain it. You can taste the whole profile of, the, like, a chicken breast. Even... I'm not saying that we eat on season, but, like, you can unsee... And you'll taste it so much more just by eating it there. So, you guys have your own chickens up there? Your, um, your well, we used to. Uh, that's... Okay, that's actually a funny story that you brought that up. I, was, I didn't even think about this, but... um. <clears throat> So my grandfather used to raise a bunch of chickens. Uh-huh. Um, he, he's like, you know, he's been raising chickens for a long ass time because yeah. he harvests the eggs, obviously. That's what most people do. Um, man, you know that thing where like they say, like you, you meet a, an old man and if he's really calm at, at that point in his life, that means he's probably been a firecracker for most of his life and he's just mellowed out at that point. <laughs> yeah. This Your dude grandfather? was the calmest calmest sweetest man you'll ever meet in your you're life, talking man. about your grandfather my grandfather uh-huh. uncle Sof. mom's side he was still a fucking firecracker when it came to those when it came to those chickens bro. Your, you mean your my mom's, mom's father my mom's father bro these chickens pissed him the fuck off <laughs> bro they would get in his way i don't want no fucking peter or whatever the fuck the oh, animal they're cruelty coming. yeah they're bro, coming if, they, bro, if they got in his way he would straight up fucking Fucking soccer kick? kick him, bro. Fucking launch the chicken. <laughs> fucking no flying across way, the yard, bro. bro. He was so fucking sick of this. Because, dude, it's a lot of work. You got to realize you're 70 something years old. You got to feed them every single day. You got to coop them up. You got to make sure no animals are getting built into up the resentment yard. to the dude, chickens. Decades of doing this oh shit. He got so God. fed up. He's like, fuck the fucking chicken. Wait, man. what's his perfect? Was he a farmer? No. So he did this shit on the side to he his was, actual he was job. A, no, he was a principal. Uh, he was well, first. He started as a teacher, then he was a principal, and then he became like a director of like the whole like district. So he was like a, like a while scholar. While living where? Oh where, yeah, yeah. He so, lives in the mountains, dude. Like the whole like story of like oh I had to tra-, like he traveled, dude. When I take trips up there and I go to like we'll go up the mountain area mm-hmm. and they're like this is the school and I'm like this is the school. You drive up, bro. It takes you like 25, 30 minutes by car to get to the house. I'm like ain't no way this dude walked from the top of the freaking mountain. All the way down here, down and keep in mind there was no road, there was no cars. Like he would just walk. I don't know how long it take him. I'm sure he found a good path, but like he every would walk day, every single day, bro. Over the mountain, under like all these hills, all these crazy rocks. I'm not even being exaggerating, bro. If, if it gets icy over there, which it does often in the winter time because it, it gets cold, it's Dangerous. so easy to fucking slip, fall, icy snow. This dude, every single day, would walk, I don't know how many miles, just to get to class, to teach his class. That's crazy. And then he became crazy. principal for that school, and then he became the like the director for that whole area. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. So you mean to tell me that, th- okay, so maybe this is why, I mean, this is like a weird tangent to go on real quick, but y- then you wonder why like immigrants, people from like not as developed countries value education so much. Yeah. Because this dude was literally doing all that. Sh- he probably 
came if it had to have taken if you're saying 25 30 30 minutes Easily, driving yeah that's like at least like what four maybe, five hours. Maybe I'm guessing. Maybe it was like fifteen to twenty minutes, but it definitely was not like a like from like a, like a two mile walk. It was well, way more than that. 15, and up and, and downhill uh, uh, mountains. Yeah, yeah. like you went over hills and then generally going up. Uh, literally, yeah. like Harriman State Park is like a mile and a half hike. Yeah, that shit takes you an hour. Yeah, because of the terrain yeah. and everything. Yeah. So this guy's doing that. That's three Every four hours single day. One way three four Every. hours. So he walk. He has to. His oh, life yeah. is literally wake up, eat real quick, yeah. hike, yeah. school, hike back, go to sleep. Yeah. Repeat, rinse yep. and repeat. Yep. That's fucking crazy yep. to me. So he used to body those chickens. Oh yeah, no, he hated those chickens. He, so, he he loved the eggs and like we would we would cook those. I feel like a part of him felt like a certain gratitude when he would eat those like chicken eggs. He's like, you motherfucker, I'm <laughs> eating your fucking. You know, These like, are your fucking babies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So those those eggs actually. The reason why I asked if you if like he raised those chickens. Do you guys refrigerate your eggs? No. Okay. This is why I fucking asked this. In Colombia, my mom swears that the thing that impacts her the most every time she goes back. The similar kind of thing with what you were saying with the tomato, the eggs here in the U.S., I don't know if it's because it's processed shit, factory farming, whatever the fuck it is, you have to refrigerate your eggs, right? In Colombia and in, in uh, I can't, I, I, how do you? Kosovo? No, no, no. The, it starts with an R. Rigo? The mountain, yeah, Rigo. No, well, that's I, I, even in pay too. Like you don't have to refrigerate them. Okay, so it, yeah, in Colombia, it's yeah. like countrywide, you don't refrigerate yeah. your eggs. She said that when you crack a fucking egg open, the yolk is not orange, yellow. Red. It's orange, like a yeah, deep, yeah. like amber. Yeah. Like yeah, it's like calm. almost red. It's literally almost red. Yeah, and she said yeah. the flavor. It's but like, like an orange red. Yeah. yeah, she says it tastes more like nutritious yeah. than a fucking egg. Yeah, here. it's heavier, but like not like a heavy stomach weight. Like it has more like, like a nutritional stronger, value, like yeah, dense like a stronger or something. flavor. Yeah, bro, that's crazy. Yeah. See, like when I when I hear that shit, yeah, like that. Like if just, you do if you do scrambled eggs up here, like you'll get like a light yellow color when you scramble them up over there. It's like legitimately like an orange, orange. when it mixes with the uh, like it looks. Like you white? took cheese or something yeah, and yeah, mix it yeah, in there, bro. Yeah, that's crazy to yeah. me. Now that I, I like when she said that to me. Now that we, when like now that we're talking about this, I remember that as a kid, whenever I'd go back to Colombia, eating the eggs over there was kind of different. Like I remember yeah. them being extra yeah. good. And you don't have to season them; you just throw salt and yeah, it has so much that's flavor. It. Yeah, oh, yeah. I got you. Got to throw freaking like oregano parsley. You make an omelet. You gotta change it up. Make you it have to add you flavor. have to add shit to yeah. it. Yeah, to bring yeah. out the value over there. It's just that is yeah. like enough in itself. So what was so what was some of the other crazy shit that. What story do you want to tell first? What's like the, because you set this up by saying you have some heavy stuff. I don't know if you want to get into it now or later, but just you do you. Yeah. Just. Um. So the reason why, I, like, and I, I mentioned like Rogov, like the mountain area, mm -hmm. and like now where we live now, um, in Kosovo is obviously because of the war. So my grandfather used to live in Rogov, um, during the war, and then he had he eventually had to move and live in Bay, which is. A little under an hour drive from where they are now mm -hmm. um because of the war and uh so <coughs> they um so during the war the uh the opposing side again this is like you know like a 20 year old thing but the opposing side ended up burning his house down in Rogov not once not twice but three times how do you so he built up the house during the course of the war three times and they burned it. Well, technically it was four houses he had to build. The first one, which got burned. Second one, which got burned. Third one, which got burned. And fourth then he, one. And now he's on the fourth iteration. So you mean, all, when you say build, you mean like he built it by himself? Like he by built him. it by himself. Literally, dude, like by himself, maybe like one person in the area, like his neighbor helped him. Full trees as logs, stacked them on top of each other, crossed them. Built the walls, built the roof, built the foundation. So these dudes on YouTube the making these jungle things, they yeah. ain't got shit on no, your grandfather. No, dude, then. like for real. Like he, and, and he was so, like that's one thing he liked to do on the side also. He built like guitars, like Albanian traditional guitars. He would sell them for a shit ton of money. He would build clocks. He so actually, he's like a legitimate carpenter. Oh though. no, he's insane. He is so skilled. He still does some of that stuff. He built me a clock. He built my mom a clock. It's a, uh, it's in the shape of an anchor. And it's layered with two different types of wood. So the front face, the, the clock itself is a darker wood. And the back plate is like a lighter. I think it's a pine. So it's a lighter lighter color wood that's uh -huh. in the shape of an anchor. And inside he carved out a light of that, that pine of a dolphin. And he put an inlay of a dolphin on each side. So it's an anchor with a clock in the middle with two little dolphins. And he made all that by hand. And he put a little battery in the back, in the back like a double A battery that you could switch in and out every time the battery runs out. Awesome. What awesome the carpenter. fuck? 100% handmade? 
The only thing that wasn't not handmade was the electronics. Dog, put this shit on Etsy. This is going to go for some money. No, I would never sell that stuff. He gave no, me, no, he no. Gave not hit, you, like, hit him oh, up yeah, and yeah, say, yo, yeah, you want to yeah. make some money? Yeah, Dude, yeah. that's crazy. 30. Oh, yeah. Awesome. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. So he, so also, I, I meant to say, like, I, I, I could speak for myself. So there's definitely people out there that whoever watches this little production here. Um, <laughs> When you say the war. Yeah. Right. I, I, I'm, I'm not sh- quite sure what you're referring to. I know that there's like, there was like war, but I don't know exactly what the two opposing sides. So, and so was. there was, um, there was obviously like the biggest war that, that, that waged in Kosovo. Um, it was the, it was the Serbians versus the Kosovo, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm sure there was a lot of stuff done on, on both sides, but what I will say is like, there was, there was a lot of stuff done in Kosovo by the Serbians. And like, again, like, I'm not saying anything about any group of people, but I know what happened, at least from our side of the story, and I'm sure that other people on the other side probably have similar stories. Mm-hmm. A lot of fucking... Like war. War is a two-sided stories, affair, yeah. always, right? Everything happens both ways. But uh, I remember my mom told me, uh, actually pretty recently, she told me um, some really, really crazy stories about the family. Um, so there was once where my aunt... Um, this was during the war. My aunt was walking from her house to my other aunt's house pretty close. I think it was like across the street or something. And I remember she said that she felt like, a, I forgot how my mom explained, but she said there was like a, a whiff by her head and it, it ended up, like it was a bullet that literally just missed her head. Okay, who the fuck shot the bullet? They don't know. Well, they don't know. Well, they, they, I think that it was... A so like well, an opposing like an enemy soldier. So was she just walking it during like an, uh, an ongoing battle? Or no, something? no, no. I think as far as I know, it was a quiet nothing, and then just like a like a, almost like a warning shot, or they were trying to hit her and they just missed. What the fuck? Yeah, whizzed by her head. Whizzed by her head. Yeah. And this is just like on a casual day. Yeah. She's just yep. walking. Yep. Yep. And she didn't know what it was, or how did she know that it was a bullet? Because it hit something later? I think it hit something. I think it hit the wall, or I don't know what, but... And then she was like, holy fuck, like, that yeah. was a bullet that yep. just, like, whizzed by my yep. head. Yep. Yep. That's insane. That was one thing that happened to my aunt, and there's some, there's some other, like, crazy stuff that my mom told me. Um, Like, uh, dude, there was some, like, really, really dark stuff, man. Like, I actually had a conversation with her. Um, uh, So there was this one story that she told me that uh they would force the 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 enemy or I don't want to say the enemy the opposing soldiers would play with like the Albanian like people like play games with them so they would like and by playing games I mean like they would do horrific shit that to them was games they would like force the husbands and the the siblings to sleep with their daughters and their sisters in front of like the town to embarrass them humiliate them you mean like like fuck yeah like force them to sleep in, ta- with- in the town yeah, square. Yeah, like literally force them to commit incest in front of the town, like just to completely like dehumanize and like humi- like demoralize just em- them, just yeah. embarrass them on on a total scale. And um, if they refused, they would either one kill you on the spot, right? So they would either shoot you dead, or two, they would literally make you undress in front of the whole town, and then castrate you, like everything. In front of the whole town and then just dump you down and then walk away like nothing happened then next in line where's your sister and wait where's I'm your sorry, daughter who was who is, who is the family members that actually went through this of yours like what generation? it was in, it was in the town i i don't think it was my i don't think my family got touched luckily luckily they didn't but a lot of other people were not as lucky no and, no but like who what gen like your grandfather's generation yeah, yeah your it was my grandfather's and my my mom's generation that were D- your mom's generation yeah because dude this this was 20 years ago so you got to realize she was 18 at the time 20 at the time see okay so i i mean when the war started i'm saying this was before i was born yeah but like the thing the thing that's crazy is like you hear so much about like certain things and then you just never hear about others like i you know you heard about world war ii i mean we were educated in the u.s i didn't know shit about this until right now because it's a small country yeah but still like yeah atrocity stuff like that i my mom told me some other stuff too she she this one's heavy um she told me a story that uh this is like this this shit's heavy Go for it. Um, Actually, wait. Before you start, Sandra, could you could you do me a favor? Could you go to the bathroom and grab some toilet paper, please? Why? I coughed earlier into my shirt. Oh. Ugh. Wait, just go wash your hands. 
I, I don't want to get up. It's fine. It's just fine. Ew. You nasty ass. Did this die? Yeah. Fucking. And it's not it's not like picking up audio. Do you want my headphones? No, no. I'm I'm good with this. I'm good with this. Just let me know if I'm being loud. Just like tap my leg or something if I'm being loud. Oh, like I'll go like I'll go like yeah, this. Or okay. just whatever if you, if you know. Don't look at it. I'm okay with showing you gross stuff. I don't want to yeah. be not gentlemanly. Trust me, Sandra's seen a lot of nasty shit. She watches you shit. That's like the cutest thing. She doesn't thing leave me. me alone when I shit. Bro, Hannah too. Like, bro, I lock the door. Because she's like at the fucking door. Like, bro, she's like knocking At the door, she, she literally like tries to give me a hug while I'm shitting, bro. That's mad cute though. That's not cute, bro. I'm shitting. Like, what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but it smells rancid. It, it, it's, it's cute. It's, no, it's not cute. for nothing. So it's I'm cute. shitting. Leave me alone. <laughs> it's cute. Later down the line, you're, you're going to be like, oh, man. Like, that's, that's mad cute. So, so you were saying this is heavy. Yeah. Um, so she told me a story of, dude, like, yeah. So, um, and this is your mom who experienced this or like, she was, I was don't know if she was there, generation. but it was in, in that area, in that town that uh -huh. this happened. So there was like, so, you know, like similar to like how like the Nazis would do like concentration, concentration camps and shit. Mm -hmm. They would like pool a bunch of people together and then just throw them on a big truck and then move them around. People had no idea what the fuck was going on. So one of these times, I guess, they brought this group of Albanians, like Kosovar, over in a big truck. They unload the truck. And on the truck was this pregnant woman. And they were making, uh, they were making like a big like pot soup, right? And then one of the soldiers, I guess, like complained that like there wasn't meat in the soup. They grabbed the pregnant woman. They cut her open, like her stomach open. They literally took the at this point almost ready to pop baby yank it out toss the baby in the soup and then go there's your meat for your soup hold on and then and then they actually then forced the mother to eat the soup with the yeah. peep the, so yeah. there was cannibalism yeah. yeah infant side or not even infant side because it's not even born yeah and she probably died Oh, I, I, I'm sure she did. I didn't ask my mom, but I mean, that's at that point, it's like, how the fuck do people yeah. even think of doing some shit like that? This is like, like every time I hear about shit like this, it, it, I mean, obviously, like it makes you sad, but it's like I, I, I more so get surprised of like the capacity of evil that hum, some human beings have. Yeah. Like I the mean, rape of Nanking shit, what? like rape of Nanking. Like it's okay. like some. Do you know about that at all? No. So in, in during World War II, it's like similar horror stories like that. Like mm -hmm. during World War II, like Japanese people, they occupied like uh, Eastern China mm -hmm. and in the city of Nanking. This is something that literally like it's crazy. I mean, you know how uh, in modern day, there's like a lot of movements for different minority groups or whatever. One of like the biggest things that came out recently or it's been resurfacing a lot recently, especially during like Asian Pacific Islander, Asian Heritage Month, whatever, double A P I. I should know this, but whatever. During that month, people were talking about this. It was the Japanese occupied Eastern China. And mm -hmm. then for like three weeks, they proceeded to m kill like over, I think, like 400,000 people. Some, mm. some wild, absurd number. And what you were talking about before, like forcing, it, they weren't forcing family members to have intercourse, but they were, they themselves were like raping children, mm. children in front of their parents. And then murdering the whole family. Like, shit like that. And you know, there's... Pic the fucked up part is that there's pictures of this. on Like, on the internet. Like, there's, like, full... Like, presses don't want to release that type of stuff. Like, you know, like, there's still... It's crazy to me that this shit was in the 40s. And it's still being, like... Stuff is still being declassified or whatever. Some of the major publications, they don't want to release these images. Because it's so graphic. Mm -hmm. Like, a lot of people say that... Not that, not to downplay the Holocaust. How do you feel about that? Like what? Like they not being publicized? Yeah, yeah. I think it's fucked up just because like, it, it's kind of like, it gives me similar vibes to when there were, th the whole thing with Ukraine and Russia broke out. And then there was like that one reporter was like, no, but this is like a, like he was basically saying like, this is like a white country. Like these are white people getting murdered. Like and not, not that that's, he said something that alluded to that. And I think that that's fucked up because it's almost like valuing one life over another. Cause then somebody asked him like, Oh, like there's shit like this going on in Africa all the time. How come that, that doesn't get this press coverage or whatever. And I get it to a certain extent. Cause at the end of the day, there's only so much fucking coverage you could do there. there like right now there's horrible shit going on everywhere around the world. It's impossible for mm. one publication to cover all the fucking stories. The thing yeah. that I will say though, this one's a little weird because that 
statistically speaking, was one of like the biggest mass murders. Like, yeah, crazy yeah. amount of people yeah. died. That and, I, that actually I do know. Yeah, yeah. So like statistically, the, the if Chinese it's that if it's enough. that significant, how come it's not being covered? That's the thing that I'm like, yeah. oh, that's a little weird. And that's yeah. valid. So that's the only. thing. I'm a believer that like all that stuff should be out there. I think it should be too. I think it should be, and not 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 for any other reason than the fact that like it happened, and I think that people should know about it, and yeah. like this is what led to that. This is why this happened. Like, I think you should be teaching people about that because it's like, you, you can't forget like history. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, I'm yeah. not, I'm not saying that like you need to like act on history, but like you need to be aware so that you can avoid those things. Yeah, of course. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. what led to that? Well, one person was a dick and then said something and then 10 other people believed him. And then honestly, I think with most of those things, I think mostly, I think most, the vast majority of people are good people. I think that where we get caught up is like where you get one really loud person who's having a really bad day and then gets 10 other people to buy into his bull crap. And then all of a sudden it just spreads like wildfire. And I think it's a cultural thing. Yeah, I don't, and, I don't think that people are inherently bad. I think people are inherently good, but they're easily swayed yeah, to do bad things. Yeah. yeah. If, especially if you give them like a false premise and give them like something yeah. to believe very in. Very easy to trick. And yeah. 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 Humans bad. are very like, um, whatever the word is, like feeble. Like they just believe, like, if, if, you know, if, if you're one out of a hundred people that believe one thing and they're not, the other 99 people are t- like, I'm not saying that you're going to change your mind, but just based on like the trajectory of humans in general, eventually you're going to change your mind. I'm not saying that that's everybody. And I know there's some people like, no, I never fucking true. But like the vast majority of people yeah. will change their mind. Eventually. Cause, cause just hardwired. We don't yeah. want to be outcast. Exactly. Exactly. So you try yeah. to fit into whatever so, like, the norm same thing is. with like war. You know, if you, if, if you're, if you're in a battalion of whatever, hundreds of people, 10 people, five people, if you're the only one that believes like, Hey guys, what are we doing over here? Like, this is wrong. It's ultimately not going to matter because the other 499 people in that in that in your squad are doing all that crazy stuff and you know what the fuck thing about that is there's li- like th- there's prop there's a good chance a great chance that there's w- a lot of people that are thinking the same shit like yo we shouldn't be exactly. doing this but no one wants to speak yeah. up yep yep and then you just kind of yep. mob mentality you yep. just end up doing and then the it thing. just becomes like uh like a whatever the reverse cascade effect is where like you just try to one-up each other like oh i did this this this, this. and he's yeah. like well i did this, this you know and then it's bad but that yeah so so back to back to what you were saying like I can't believe that that shit I've never I've heard some fucked up stuff that happened like war crimes I've never heard yeah. that's probably one of the most heinous things I've ever heard yeah to a mom to a mom an unborn and her, child and her nearly born unborn child and then but the and then yeah. like yeah I just, and, just and, and the, yeah yeah and making her eat it yeah. But the thing I'm confused about is there was one thing of the story. The people that were making the soup and the guy that complained was he on the the side that was moving the people? This is the you got you to keep in mind. This is coming from my mom, uh-huh. so like this is like a pass down of a pass down story. So like you never know with all, with all these types of stories. Gotcha, you never gotcha, know like gotcha, gotcha. what's exaggerated, what's mm-hmm. what the actual reality was. What I do know is like this thing happened. As far as I know, it was somebody on the other side that complained that they wanted meat in the in the in the soup. So they fucking ate a baby. Yeah, yeah, essentially. Well, yeah. I mean, that guy's going to hell. Well, that's fucked. Yeah, war, war is one of those things, man. Everybody's like, "Yeah, let's go to war. Fuck those guys." And then you go to war, and it's just like, I don't want to ever experience war. Like, oh yeah, you, no. you see those images, like I mean, the few images that I have seen, the few videos that you have, it's like that's something you don't even wish upon the person that you like the least in this world. I you know per- I, mean? I personally like. I'm not even just saying this. Uh, to be dramatic or whatever but i don't think my brain can comprehend it without like we play video games whatever you see movies cool whatever and you think but when you actually like it's different for the people experiencing it and i hear these stories and i'm like that's horrible i will never be able to actually know yeah. how horrible that yeah. shit is well you, yeah you better hope that it stays that way that you would never be able to yeah, well yeah, yeah yeah well thank god we were born in this fucking time period yeah. in this country and like because I, I don't know man that's just fucking crazy to me and the fact that that was only 25 30 years ago uh late 90s yeah late 90s yeah that's like yet yeah, like that's like yesterday yeah it's like a blink of an eye if you look at it in terms of yeah and that yeah. shit was happening yep what the fuck yep that shit's crazy to me man that yep. doesn't make any sense that's that's the that the hardest not hardest heaviest one you have yeah I mean, I think so. Okay. There was a lot of like other like little things, but yeah. Let's make an immediate pivot and try to do like what's one of the most wholesome memories you have in your time visiting in your in your wholesome homeland? memories? Or just something where you're like, this is good. Um or like a funny story. I have one of Columbia if you want me to want to give you time to think. Because I know I this, this I'll is come up with something fast, but you can, yeah, you can go ahead. 
so like similar it's actually something we keep talking about chickens my uh my grandfather had like a also like a chicken coop and then mm -hmm. one day it got loose like the chickens got loose and my family has a running joke because i'm i've said it before like i'm like an oaf i'm not coordinated like i'm not quick or whatever but i swear to fucking god bro i was 12 years old you know how i looked at 12 like you've seen we we meaning you've made you've glowed up tremendously but like we were fat kids have you and ever have you ever told the, the pizza story no, I haven't told the pe this is peak gluttony us. I'm yeah. not gonna I mean I'm still very fucking gluttonous, but that shit's on a different level. That was that was a that was a low point. We could actually we could actually talk about some gluttonous moments in, in a second, yeah. but so basically long story short, the chickens got out and I they don't believe me. My family still makes jokes. They're like, no fucking way, you come on, you I caught a chicken. Like it was out in the field. Oh shit. And it was doing like like one of these like you know the you know how chickens yeah, are yeah, shifty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dog, I fucking Zig and zagging. got it. And then they were they were making jokes like was the chicken one legged? Like was it on <laughs> its deathbed? Whatever the fuck. And then that same afternoon after I caught that chicken, we counted all of them up, right? And my uh relative was like, We're missing one. Like one of the chickens is not here. So we're like, where the fuck could it be? And then we start hearing this like weird noise coming out of like the tool shed. It was like a squawk or some shit. We go in there and we're like Coyote. looking for this thing. No, no, no. It was the chicken. It was in the corner face, like in the corner behind, behind a toolbox along a wall where it's like just like enough space for like a small animal to fit in that, mm -hmm. you know, like right. crawl way. Right. And it was in the corner facing the wall and it's making this like noise. And I'm like, what the? And I look at it and I realize its asshole is gaped. There was an egg. It was hatching an egg and it was stuck. No so I, way. Bro, I fucking move the toolbox. I get this thing out and I start like doctor pimple popping the edges of the asshole around the thing. Ew. And then uh, right when I got over that like widest part of that, it just popped out like the fucking egg. Oh my God. It was, a, it was actually pretty cool stuff. So you literally it was burned warm. the fucking, oh my God. And the God. egg was warm. That's the thing that's Ew, weird. Did like, you smell your hands afterwards? Yeah, it smelled you know, like, like shit. Yeah, that, that, there's like a mucus that forms. Ugh. It smelled like bird shit and like hay, like bedding, yeah, oh, like I know. farm bedding because it was on the, at, like the, Bro, you know. I, I, whenever I buy quail eggs, I always like grab it and then if, I, if you smell it, it smells like crap. Oh, for, it smells for like, Kona? Yeah. Well, I, you could eat them too. I ate, I ate a couple. They're, they're pretty not, good. Yeah, they're not bad. They're pretty good. Yeah. Chinese people love quail eggs. Quail eggs. They're so good. You boil quail eggs in some like tea. Those are. That, I think that's still like an egg that's like pretty like uh, natural, like like not like a regular egg where it's like bleached and oh, all yeah, that. Yeah, you know, yeah, treated with all yeah. that crap. Yeah. yeah. Because it's so orange. Too. Yeah, yeah. Have you seen ostrich eggs? The big boys. Big, yeah. The amount of protein. I've in never that had bitch, one. Anabolic as fuck. I want some eggs now. I want. I want to try an ostrich egg at some point in my life. I heard it's very weird tasting. Where do you even get an ostrich egg? I don't know. You just fucking Google it. No, you mm. can probably Amazon. Jeff Bezos, yeah, Daddy Bezos, he definitely Amazon Bezos. What do you egg? mean? Fuck Bezos, no. def he, his fucking head is an egg. He probably bro, yeah, got yeah, some yeah, in his yeah. refrigerator, bro, with the with the gains he made that like shocked the world. Um. Oh, so what was your wholesome? Um. Actually, I wasn't even thinking about story at all. I was listening to yours. Um. <laughs> My bad. No, that was an interesting story. That's a good thing. Um. Wholesome story. I'm trying to think. Honestly, not even not like not even on any like cheesy stuff, but like uh there's like a lot of like little moments. Like uh one thing that I love every time I go to Kosovo is like there's some stresses, right? But every time I go there, it's like a it's like a true vacation. Um So the way we have it right now, we all have houses literally like within two blocks of each other. So all my aunts and my grandparents, we're, we're all literally like hundred steps max from each other. Every single night we like all get together at my grandpa's house. We usually crack open a couple of watermelons, just like throw out some big pots of like watermelons. We all just like sit around, we, like make fun of each other for like, no joke, maybe like four or five hours until like really early, early morning. It gets so late that it's like early morning. We mm -hmm. all just sit there cracking jokes, making fun of each other, throwing shit at each other, you know, like. Is there like a campfire, like a. No, not really a campfire because it's usually summertime. Okay. It's like pretty warm out. Um, but it just you know, sitting around like cracking jokes and just like eating good food or whatever. That's like, fine. You know, yeah. That's nice. Yeah, and we That's all just nice. like sit around. Or, it, it's like a really um, it's like old school and like I, I really love that and like it's simple. Yeah, you're not on yeah. the internet. You're just not worried about shit. Everybody around a table, not even like a table. Everybody's just kind of sitting outside on the porch and then just like food is at the center and then everybody's just talking. That's fire. You know? So you guys are eating all night long like that. 
like yeah. just food just constantly coming out yeah just like watermelon or whatever like whatever <laughs> leftover food is made from the day and like i would gain some weight no, if i went to bro, fucking bro trust me you lo- you'll eat more and still lose weight how is that possible the food is different over there bro you like got to realize just, like, like everything less here processed, is processed bro i'm not even not, i don't want to even go on a side tangent cuz we could talk about this for like an hour straight but like food here is so shit Mm-hmm. Like even the good food you think you buy from the supermarket, like oh organic this and it's farm raised uh, chickens with free roam and, and and they're not fed any bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Unless you're paying like fucking fifty dollars, sixty dollars for a pack of chicken, mo- odds yeah. are it's not like a real chicken. You know how big a real chicken is? It's small as fuck. They're supposed to be like like this. Yeah. The chickens that they're breeding are like four times the size of what an yeah. actual chicken. It's not. They're all just feeding them steroids. Anyway, um, <laughs> they're the fuck. <laughs> It's all natural. So your the body your body is meant to process the natural foods, the natural meats, the natural vegetables, mm-hmm. the fruits, all those things. Nuts. You could literally pound that stuff all day. Every time I go there, if I go for over two weeks, I'm losing at least five pounds. What the fuck? Yeah. Bro, sign yeah. me up. I eat all day, bro. All when we, day. When are we going? When are we going? We need well, to go. You, you know, I actually want to go. We got spare bedrooms go. in the house. I actually like, I, would you host me if I I literally like, I want to go. This dude. That's a yes. Bro, I've been got, saying yes. Out. I've been saying yes. We got some trout, motherfucker. We this is like trout. Yeah, you can go trout fishing over there. This no, I was gonna say we've been traveling. Oh, uh, uh, like we got. So we went to Iceland. They were on the Iceland trip. We um, <laughs> with the, uh, we're going to Orlando, and then at the just, end of the year, pot- potentially uh, Japan, because Iceland was just funny. I don't yeah. know. Every time I think about Iceland, I like <laughs> giggle a little bit. There's like a blink, Iceland. It it's like a blink, and there there was some hazy moments in there for sure. But then there's some <laughs> moments that really stick out, and you're just like, "What the fuck?" Like me and Mike broke it all down. But actually, your perspective of it. Do you remember? I love like. Do you remember that night that we were just in the hot tub for like mad long, in I the wasn't there. second house? Yeah, yeah, you were the second house. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Outside the concrete, the the yeah. the, the rock yeah, the hot yeah, yeah. tub. Yeah, that was I love. I really like that. Yeah. I, I like like the 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 extreme, like the polar op opposing sides of like really cold air, like Arctic air, and then a nice warm bathtub. Bro, don't even get me started, bro. Sky Lagoon, I think was probably my highlight of that. So trip. you think blue that over Blue Lagoon? Yeah, bro. Sky Lagoon was just freaking awesome and we went you know that's kind of it's always sad to hear that like the highlight of a trip is like it was in the beginning you always want to end on like a high note i think the highlight of the trip ideally should be like two-thirds of the way through Mm. because that means everything's a build and then the last third you have to kind of relax or the northern lights too seeing the northern lights which happened like a night or two before we left i don't don't think we saw we didn't see the northern lights until like the second house the second house yeah yeah. but Oh, no, it was the first night we went to the second house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're right. But it was still, like, over halfway. I feel so bad because the the best northern lights were the the ones... After we left? Yeah. Oh, really? In the Fisherman's Village. Was that, it green? Dude, it was green, and it was dancing, like, crazy. Because mm. you know what it was? The the point of Iceland where that hotel, Hannah fucking found this sweet-ass... It was called the Fisherman's Village. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, like the bungalow. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And it's, like, on a, like, almost peninsula, like a mini pol- peninsula. It's, mm-hmm. like, a, just, like, a fucking you know land that's just isolated it's like a little row and the i don't know what direction it's facing but all of the city is behind you and you're looking out into the ocean it's just black like yeah, yeah dark yeah. as fuck you can't see shit but you see a little bit of like shimmering yeah. water movement and all of a sudden a band of fucking green mm. then yeah. it turned to like a little bit blue Mm, like like a purple look, if you no not purple if you looked for the blue you could see a little bit mm. of it it was mostly green though i would have loved to see i told purple. you right like so i think i think uh the different colors represent like the different gases in the atmosphere i think yeah you did tell so, like me that. oxygen i think is like purple or nitrogen and nitrogen is green or vice versa so like depending on what gas is present at that moment mm, it's gonna it's that's gonna the change color, the color yeah that's the color you see i wish green is really nice but i wish like purple. red purple yeah. bro that shit yeah. would have been fucking yeah. crazy even blue too yeah it was it was great yeah. It was great. I love that trip a lot. Um, Japan at this year, if it happens, which is looking like it will, is going to be fucking ridiculous. Even though you're not a cold weather guy, he hates the cold weather. Bro, this is, Japan would be Sandra and I's like sixth or seventh major trip this in one year and a half, which is like the most I've ever been on. Hold on, let's list them out. So you got Thailand. I know that for sure. Thailand, Iceland, Kosovo, Iceland. We've well, I mean, I won't count like the Michigan trips because like that's where Sandra's from. So mm-hmm. no, not Michigan. Um, 
We're going to, we're going to Disney. This is going to be Sandra's first time in Disney. That's crazy, by the way. J- uh, Japan later this year, so that's six. Mm-hmm. Trying to trying to think if we went anywhere else. So yeah, and literally like not even eighteen months because the one isn't even a year and a half. It's been like six. It's going to have been six. That's that's what life's about. Yeah, I love traveling. Is the shit. Bro, at this point, like we don't have kids. Like we just want to yeah. travel. You gotta like, see I the world. Just, I just want to travel. Yeah, you, you gotta know? see the world, and it informs like opinions and and uh, like the way you perceptions. And then, if anything, if you really want to justify it, you could say that you're just trying to complete yourself as a human being before you have kids to pass on your wisdom yeah i mean you feel, you feel I, I just want to see the different places yeah, yeah. me too but like yeah. i'm saying like if you have to justify it i like, don't you have just to, be like as long know. as i'm you know well yeah you're, you're, yeah, you're of, paying yeah, yeah. yeah yeah so you don't have to justify it to anyone because you don't have to ask for permission but like i'm saying like if you ever feel bad about splurging on a trip that's yeah. the justification yeah. you could use it's um it's crazy man i definitely want to go to kosovo uh and like where where your family's from and stuff like that i would actually i think if we were if i were to go the, my favorite part would be i love cities but something about like the mountain air that you're saying the way you painted that whole picture yeah. that shit would seem yeah. like it's pretty awesome i'll show you some pictures off camera there's like a there's like some nice streams that come down the mountain and like there's like this like big pool like a like a lake at the bottom of the mountain and then there's like rocks with waterfalls and mm-hmm. stuff and like crazy restaurants you get these really nice hotels with like these huge windows and you're at the top of a mountain you're looking out and it's just like a big mountain region like rocks oh and grass God. and trees and that's fucking beautiful it looks it looks insane yeah you know um actually uh i best, I, best restaurants dude best what? restaurants i'm talking best restaurants over there there's one you have to drive like after you hit the mountain region after you first get in you have to drive another like at least an hour at least an hour i don't know how far away it was i don't remember because i went two or three years ago at least an hour in best restaurant i've been to in kosov amazing food albania everything yeah 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 they had like um they had everything there's like there's like a there's like this like pepper spread that they do Um, not not ever not ever it's like a pepper it's like a bunch of peppers and then like this like cheese layer and then they herb it and then they keep layering that so it's like pepper cheese and then herbs pepper cheese like all these different like crazy like spices sauces like heavy heavy bro phenomenal phenomenal yeah Wait, we you gotta tell the tell the uh the fucking pizza story. We never told that. Oh yeah, yeah. Go ahead. So um, this was at the height of me and Brandon's like fat period. Um, so I'm still at getting this out point, of it. We were we were what? At the, we were in eighth grade, ninth I grade. Think, I think so. Yeah. 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 So this is like right as like me and Brandon like had like first met. We'd known each other for like a year or two, and like we were both fat. And I remember he came over to my house one night. And uh, so it was ninth grade actually. Sorry. Ninth grade. Just, yeah. yeah. Because yeah. we weren't we weren't really tight like that in yeah. the eighth grade. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Um, so he came over to my house and then I remember I asked my dad, like, yo, can you order some pizza? He's like, yeah, what do you want? I was like, get a, get a, get a pie and then get a couple of herb slices. And for those of you that don't know, um, there's a herb slice is just literally like a pizza slice. So it's like the dough and then the crust, but instead of having cheese and sauce, it's like a olive oil spread and then, uh, like a bunch of different herbs. So it's literally like the size of a full pizza slice, but it's not, it's without the cheese and sauce. Like I just said, um, and you, the pizza was mushroom, if I yeah, recall correctly. Yeah, mushroom. Bro, I kind of would crush that right now. But anyway. Um, <laughs> Let's go after. So we ordered a full pie, eight slices, and they they make big pies at the local pizza here. They make them really good. Shout yeah. out to Renzo's. Um, big pie, and they get four herb slices. And uh, what Brandon, Brandon and I decided to do was, in order to become the most effective eating method, we would take the herb slice, stack it on top of the regular slice, and eat it like a pizza sandwich. We crushed the whole pie and the four herb slices. Yeah, I, like if it, it seemed like in the blink of an eye. No, it was literally I think like within seven minutes. Had Dude, to be. we crushed it. We weren't crushed. talking. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, weren't yeah, talking. Straight up not it was like, just we didn't eat for a while before that. But that's no reason because we ate fucking twelve slices of pizza uh, yeah. like that. Like crazy, it was gone crazy yeah. fast. And like I, I distinctly Bro. remember folding the herb. Like I do the pizza fold method, and I did that with the herb slice on top of it. So when that happened, I just saw this fat fucking rod. Bro, I could crush some pizza right now. Too bad table eighty seven oh. is not near us. What? You want pizza too? Well, let's get pizza, bro. You got pizza money, bro? Let we'll get pizza. We'll we'll get pizza. <laughs> we'll get pizza. Pe- I don't want Sorrentos though, because even though we did a shout out to them, I always get the runs after I eat their shit oh really the worst runs in my life no i don't know what it is i don't know what it is 
I lit. I just gave joking. them business. And now you're taking it away. Yeah. Well, it's just me. It's my bitch ass stomach. But literally, I bro, hand on God, every fucking time I, I have ain't getting them, Domino's. No, Domino's is. Oh, we're, we're Stop. Doing, I ain't getting Domino's. Domino's is pretty fire though. They're cheesy, bro. Bro, I ain't getting no Domino's pizza. We'll find, we'll find, we'll find something to eat. But bro, let me tell you real quick before we 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 uh, end the episode. Every fucking time I have Sorrentos, every single time without fail, I'm like, yo, this is so good. I'm I'm, I'm eating. Maybe slow the fuck down. No, it's not the the pace of me eating. It's just like an hour and a half, two hours later, I feel my Mm. stomach just do like one of the like a little turn, and I'm like, ooh, that feel kind of. The second I sit down on the toilet, it's like a fucking hose. Rocket just ship. It, oh, it's, there's no solid. Oh, there, it's just all liquid. Spitting rocket fuel. It's all liquid. And then every now and then you get a little like, like oh, a little shit, shit. like solid <laughs> shit come out. Oh, God. It's the worst, bro. And then I look in there and it's like the crusty, the solid toilet? part. Yeah. But color. the solid parts and bits are like, like fucking, oh. what is that shit called in, in construction Um, that they used to patch up like sheetrock? What um? It's uh, oh god, plaster. F- yeah, it's it looks like shit plaster on. It dries uh, up like that in the inside of the bowl, all shit. the way down. Bro, one time I shit myself so hard after eating Sorrentos, like your the pants? toilet bowl oh. seat, like it shot almost parallel to the fucking what ground. the fuck? it was on the back of the toilet seat. Yo, I've I've I've, I've had some bad up my I've ass crack. It was time, really bro. bad. It was really bad, bro. One time I got sick in Colombia. Oh, actually, not, it doesn't have to be, you know, in, in Kusov. Just think of a really quick... This is how we're going to end this episode, on a gross note. Think about one of the times that you had, like, the worst shit, vomit, like, one of those experiences. You think about that? For me, it was... I'm going to tell this story for the first time on the pod. You've heard this many a time. Uh, basically, to keep a long story short, my uncle and aunt down in Florida, shout out, Andres and Kailing, love you guys. They took us to a restaurant that was like all family style, all you can eat Hawaiian food. So there was just platters of noodles, stir fried noodles, chicken, shrimp, what, all this what shit. Kind of Hawaiian food? Hawaiian, yeah. Hawaiian food? Yeah, Hawaiian food. It's actually oh. on the Polynesian Hotel Resort property in Orlando, Florida. It's called uh, Ohana's, I think is the name of the restaurant. Of course. It's amazing. Ohana means yeah. family. Yeah, literally like that. Bro, that's fire fucking impression family of, of means Stitch, bro. Nobody gets left behind. Jesus <laughs> Christ, dude. That's crazy. So anyways, that, that restaurant, they would bring platters and platters and platters of food, right? And the thing that, they were, that was really fucking good on the table was uh, shrimp. These shrimp, they still had the shell on. It was garlic. Oh, so good. So I'm pounding these fucking shrimp and I'm pounding like, like virgin pina coladas. I'm like 12 or 13 and I'm pounding crab rangoons and fucking stir fry noodles. Crab just, raccoons? Rangoons. Like, you know, like the, you know what the, it's the, isn't it Thai? Crab rangoons. It's like the blue cheese filled. It looks like a little wonton. No, but you were in Thailand, <laughs> motherfucker. So anyways, I, I just, I was literally so full that i started getting a fever i'm not joking Mm. like sweats at the table my family looked at me this is how fucked up i was they looked at me like are you okay and i'm like i don't really feel too well like i'm gonna go to the bathroom i go to the bathroom same situation the second my ass cheeks are exposed to the oh god you just know your cheeks know bro it was just like a torpedo of shit like fucking coming out my ass hot and like (laughs) lava And then all of a sudden, Torpedo. at the peak of just like the most bodily fluid pressure coming out of my ass. Oh my god! At the peak of that, so I'm just like, it's just coming out. I feel like a like a plug, and it's not going out. No. And I'm like, you got a backed up sewer, dude. Bro. I feel it go, and it gets stuck, and I'm like, what the fuck? And I'm I'm like, I'm I'm squeezing. <laughs> His asshole was corked, dude. I feel something. You know this story, yeah. don't you? Wait, no, no, I don't. Uh, what? Okay, no, no. so <laughs> I feel something go like this out of my ass and then as i'm pushing it starts curling towards me like this and it touches my taint and then it comes out into the toilet i'm like oh i finish shitting i wipe i turn around and i look dog hand on my heart a whole undigested shrimp the reason it curled was because you know how a shrimp looks when it's cooked dude the head came out first curled tickled my fucking taint and came out and fell into the fucking toilet. And it was orange. It was still orange. That's how I ate so much that my body was just pushing. Like, it was like, we don't have time to fucking digest this shit. Just send it down the line. They were just like, go, just go, just go. Like, they were just fucking sending it, bro. It was bad. Like, and then I got a fever that night. I threw up. Like, I gave myself 
volume-induced food poisoning. It was horrible. Bro, it was bro the way horrible. you just did that, just get, like, you look like a fucking six-foot-four spe- uh, half-Chinese Joey Diaz right there. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you know that's what? good. That's good, then. That's Wake up, cocksuckers. <laughs> good morning, cocksuckers. <laughs> Shit sending, who gives a fuck? <laughs> We've had a rough couple months. <laughs> yeah, I, dude, I love that guy. That guy's hilarious. What's your story to end off this pod? Um, there was one time in, um, I went on vacation with my family into the Bahamas, and I was like really young. I think I was like, I was like eight years old. Let's just say some bullshit age. I, mm-hmm. I don't remember how old I was, but I was young. And we went to the Bahamas, and we, we were all sitting at this big table, and uh, everybody sits down. And you know, in like the Bahamas, they have good seafood. But I guess the one place we went to, they didn't have good seafood. It must have been like, I must have like a sour bite or something. No, it was a freaking clam. And you know how clam has like a really distinct smell? And like as a freaking eight-year-old, you're not, you're not going to enjoy a clam as an eight-year-old. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like, so somebody, I think my grandpa, he was like, he's like, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. And I was like, all right, fine. So I grab it. And Wait, was it raw? Like shoot, like. Yeah, like, like you oh, shoot. Oh, so like yeah, it was I a shooter. I think, I think, yeah. Like shoot a crab. Like, you know, like. Yeah. Whatever. Pop it. Bro, I was like. <laughs> It's a white cloth dining table. The whole family's gathered around all over the fucking table. I backed up. I was like, what the fuck just happened? Wait, from the taste of the clam or what, I don't did know. it get you sick? I don't know if it was bad or if it was just the taste, but... So in the fucking middle of the restaurant, you just puked oh, all yeah, over yeah, the table? Yeah. yeah, I didn't even clean it. Did your parents get pissed at you? No, my parents weren't there. Oh, so did your grandfather get pissed at you? No. No, my grandpa never got mad at me. Bro, I feel like my my mom... No, not my mom. My dad will beat my ass. Because no, he'd no. be like, you're going to fuck it. Like, he, no, would, he no. would get tight. Dude, I remember that shit. It was a White Claw dinner. Oh. Everybody was dressed nice and everything. Because it was like, fuck. you know, like a family vacation. Like, we all decided, like, hey, let's go out to a yeah, nice dinner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, <laughs> man. Jesus Christ. I think no. it was actually on that same trip. I almost drowned. What the fuck? I got caught in a riptide in the Bahamas. You be... Okay, he says shit like this so casually. Like, the last time you were like, oh, did I ever tell Bro, you about that like time stuck, that a sniper shot at I was shot stuck at, at, like, the edge or, like, I, I, whatever, like, the not strong part was. But I was stuck for, like, it felt like minutes. But I know it wasn't minutes, but it felt like minutes. You have two drowning stories. Like, almost Yeah, drowning. the lake. At, at Harriman State Park. Harriman State Park. That one was Park. later on. But the reason why that one happened was because I did legs the day before. My legs were super tired. And then I cramped up in the lake. And, and it was a long lake. And you didn't want to drop your GoPro. Yeah, remember? I had a GoPro one hand. And both of my legs were like cramping. And I was swimming with one arm. What the fuck just happened? <gasps> no way. The battery died? I don't know. Wait, what the fuck just happened? Do not tell me right now. Bro, these shit ass double A batteries. I swear, if the if the fucking, the fucking third party brand, bro, you got some Chinese. No, 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 the, bro. If the Chinese battery Chinese. just died, I'm actually gonna be so tight because I don't know if it saves the fucking file. Oh god. This episode was so. That just ruined my night. I'm no, not no, no, like check it, check it. Maybe it didn't. Wait, where would it save to though? It, the SSD card or the SD card that's in there, bro. Fuck. Oh my god. Okay, well good episode. Thank you guys for liking and subscribing. We'll see you next time if we still have the fucking audio. Uh peace out. Shit. Cute. Um yeah, thanks for doing all that shit. Cute the outro music. There you go. Peace out. Enjoy. Until next time. What the fuck, yo? This is crazy. <laughs>